Alrighty everyone, we are getting started once again with some more Dragon Age, finally completing the main story. <laughs> uh, here. Well, getting to the next part of the main story, I should say. Getting ready for the beginning of the final act. We got ourselves an abomination. It has begun. I was making my way pleasantly. I was making my way pleasantly to Red Cliff when this abomination came across us. Nice, we got ourselves a fancy ring. It is begun. Reynolds. What's he got on here? Reynolds plea. Have you seen me? He found Reynolds' body along with the abomination that killed him. Reynolds' journal tells a tale of his last days. Return to the collective for your reward. Perfect. Perfect for dinner. I'm going to get pushing into here. And into the... I went to the castle, right? Not the village. Uh, if I did not... It looks like I went to the castle. It could have been village. Let's find out. I went to the village. All right. Castle it is, because I don't want to walk there. I don't want to walk the 15 feet. Too much work, of course. All right. Made our way into the castle. It shall be done. Let's give the Arl his wake-up call. Load in. Alrighty. Alrighty, here. Pop. Van Tegan. You return. Might you have news? I found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Let's find. Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isold? I am here, my husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then it was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. Oh, really? There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? Well, I need your help against the Blight. That will do. I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. Fine. As you wish, then. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Oh, well, there's much else to do now. Indeed. We have no way of knowing what Loghain will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man, one who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. 
Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. And what are you proposing then? We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance at fighting the Darkspawn. So, Logan must capitulate then. I agree. Logan will pay for his heinous crimes, but our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Logan's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Logan's allies pause, but we must combine it with a challenge Logan cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative, but the unthinkable has occurred. You intend to put Alistair forward as king? Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. I say we proceed with your plan, then. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord, other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? He has cooperated willingly, though he has little choice. You damn him with faint praise, I see. Then there is nothing more to say. Jowan, I hereby sentence you to death. May the Maker show you the mercy we cannot. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the landsmeet. We should head to Denerim as soon as possible. I can delay that, however, if you have other plans. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Well, let us go to Denerim now. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Yep. And with that, because we have completed all the other quests I care to complete, we are making our way to the next stage. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. 
With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen, and I lead her armies. Well, if Honora rules, let her speak for herself. And who is this, Eamon? Some new stray you picked up on the road? And here I thought it was only royal bastards you play the nursemaid to, not wild elves. Well, you're admitting the royal part. That's a start. I'm a witness to your crimes at Ostagar. You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason for anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, since Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar, the Regent has been generous to those who prove loyal. Well, when does the land meet begin? Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. Enough, Carthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight with your selfish ambitions to the throne. You're the one who divided Ferelden. I was not talking to you. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Misbegot in passion. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. What do we do now? Calling the landsmeet is only the start. Now we must ensure that every noble there sees Loghain's duplicity. We have no small task ahead of us. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmeet. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the lands meet then. Yep, and there we go. Now with this started, yep, and we got ourselves the level up. And a new specialization, all right. Let me get... Oh, we never got the Regicide Poison. Oh, well. Shit. Guess that person's gonna die. Leave. Yep, there's Wynn. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? I'll, I'll never leave a normal life, will I? No, you won't. Well, that makes me sad. You wonder sometimes, don't you? If your life would be better if you weren't who you are. A little. When I was a young woman in the tower, I came to the realization that the circle would be my life, and I would know no other. 
family, love, a simple life. These were things that others took for granted that I would never have. Grass is always greener on the other side. It made me very moody. All I could think of was being trapped in that tower with no way out and no end in sight. I started hating my life and myself, and one night I found myself in the tower's chapel. I was seeking refuge, maybe answers. Did you find anything? I must have looked tearful or made some noise because the revered mother came out and decided to speak to me. And because I had no one else to talk to, I talked to her. I must have said many silly things, but she told me that the Maker puts us all on our paths for a reason, and fighting our intended course is what causes so much anguish. Yeah, I think she is right in that sense. I thought the old biddy was full of rubbish. I was 15, maybe 16, and I knew everything. <laughs> so I left, but I always found my way back to that chapel. And as the years passed, I began to see the truth of her words. We were supposed to be polar opposites, mage and priest. But we weren't. There was much about us that was the same. I suppose priests do have to give up a lot as well. The revered mother had lived in the Chantry all her life, as I had been in the tower for all of mine. She taught me that you can find your family in the people around you, that you can love your work and find fulfillment in duty, and there is joy even in self-sacrifice. If you put others before yourself, then their well-being is yours and their happiness is your happiness. It won't be an easy way to live. You can scream and cry and be angry about life as a Grey Warden. Or you can accept it and allow yourself to see the good in it. This is your choice. Yep. Up. That, of course, we got. Huh. I hope all the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. Liliana and Severin. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something I can help with? Nope. And now next is Everon. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bed bugs had fleas. Damn shitty place. What say you? Nope, never mind. Alrighty. That, of course, let's move on to the last one over here, and then we'll make our way out. Oh, grip. <clears throat> I got a moment. Hey, sure. Nope. All right. I like how he's just fine. Just burp. I'm good. As you say. You catch you trying to serve brown bread to the guests again, Alana, or I'll have your eyes. We'll need white sugar for those cakes, Ilana. Not barley sugar. There for the oral. Yes. Uh. Yes. All right. Keeping a rogue in your party will let you pick the locks on doors and chests that otherwise won't open. Yep, that's why I'm here. Ah, it's just a guard boy. Here. I bought you a towel, a bar of soap, and a razor while we were at the market. I... What is this for? You wash with it. I know what soap <laughs> is, woman. <laughs> what is this flimsy slip of metal? It's a razor. You shave with it. Shave? <laughs> Any warrior worth his salt keeps his beard. That's what I keep telling Alistair. <laughs> It's matted. It has stale food stuck in it. That's for later. Oh, that's where that bit of herring got you. Anyway, it keeps my faith. Warden, they're turning the market upside down. I'm gonna... You need anything else? Do I need a good place to break in? I have one last job. A legendary one. Oh, a poultry ten sovereigns is my take. Sure. Ban Frandaril is one of the richest men in the entire kingdom. 
At his grand ball next week, he's displaying some of his priceless treasures. Paintings of old masters, the armaments of the first king of Denerim, and more. Oh, more. Mages have put up magical wards, but I've got a route that will bypass that. Once inside, I've no idea how you'll deal with the guards, but if you do, you'll be rich and infamous. I can't wait to see what people say. There that one is. Uh, and there's those quests. Banner Hills West Estate and Arl of Redcliffe's Estate. So, first things first, let's go to the Mages Collective. Get our money back from finding this boy. Here you go. The Mages Collective thanks you. Make us smile upon you. Oh, nine sovereign in the hole. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Foul and corrupt are they who have taken his gift and turned it against his children. Alright, let's go there. Ah, uh, it's this quest. Should be high enough for it. Let's see if we lose a friend. Look there, a cunning trap. And so here is the mighty Grey Warden at long last. The crows send their greetings once again. And where is Zevran? I don't see him with you. How very disappointing. Zevran? Zevran who? <laughs> don't bother. I know very well he travels with you. Here I am, Talisan. Tell me, were you sent, or did you volunteer for the job? Oh ho! And he makes an appearance. I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well, here I am, in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back, and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. Zevron doesn't need the crows any longer. Oh? Does Zevron need to live? I suspect I will manage just fine, Talison. I'm sorry, my old friend, but the answer is no. I'm not coming back. And you should have stayed in Antiva. If that locks him in, boop, yes. and boop. Yes. Uh, nope, can't level up right now. Probably should have done that before. Look there. Yeah. Cunning trap. Am I making you dizzy? As you say. When you get fat. Zevron, you get lesser. Alistair needs to stay alive so he can get a regular health. You are no match for my speed or footwork. Tough fight because you lose one of your big guys off the bat. Uh, when you take that. Quickly! And Alistair is still pinned, so you take this. We must fight! If we must fight, let us do it quickly! Take this. 
Waiting for. Don't you know stun. how much longer I can hold. No. Bam. <laughs> stun. Got him. Come on, hit him. Hit him, man. Dude, you missed if five shots fight, in a row. Let us do it quickly. Delicious Dragon Bone. Greater Lyrium. Greater Lyrium. Drake Skin. And there it is. Talison is dead. And I am free of the crows. They will assume that I am dead along with Talison. So long as I do not make my presence known to them, they will not seek me out. Well. That is a good thing, right? A very good thing. It is, in fact, what I had hoped for ever since you decided not to kill me. I have enjoyed our company, but I am wondering if it is not time for me to leave. That would be the practical thing to do, no? There is a freedom awaiting me that I have never known. But I suppose the decision is yours. Will you let me go? Oh, well, don't you want to stay for the treasure? Mm, all right. You make a convincing argument. You do seem to stumble onto treasure on a regular basis somehow. Let us return to the task at hand, then. There is still much to be done, yes? All right. Well. As you say. No, you are great, Severon. I do not want you in the party, though I will level you up. In a second. Small claw trap. Ah, uh, yes. Just gonna need to do a few things first. Severon, you are going to take. Uh, you need, well, first off, 20 con. 30 dex, 24. Perfect. Boop, boop. Do, do, do. I would like you to have survival. At least a little bit. 20 decks, that's right, that's what you needed. Uh, but you need this is just as much to get the better armor. Oh, so let's pop the taunt for Alistair. All right, Zevron, let's get you a crow dagger. Pretty sure I upgraded my strength. It stays at 19. Oh, great. 20 minus 1. That's right. I have my dex. All right, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, let's take a look at that shield, Alistair. All right, let's get Ogrim back into the party. I'm gonna back 
out and then get Ogrim back. Oh, well, it crashed. That's annoying. Fuck. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Let's get going. Got the squad back in. I'm going to say right here, just in case. I don't want it to crash again. As you say. That got me to level up I needed. Perfect. Ogrim. Hold tactics, and let's get you a destroyer. Bam. Full squad there. Of course. Armor of the Legion. And let's get ourselves boots of the Legion as well. Alistair. All the resistances. Effort use healing effects received, which is nice. What's Kalen's give him? Far better. All right. Nope, nothing good on that one. What about you? Ooh, Dragon Bone Greatsword. I will take you. No one used that. Oh, not that way. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got down here. Just in case. Nothing in here. It is begun. Feel like, okay. I guess not. Clear the next room. Look there, a cunning trap. <laughs> you, as you say, you target that. Hey. <laughs> Away with you! Okay, come on. 
in there. It's a trap! Allow me to go this way now. Nope, seems like that's a no. Alright, well, then we continue going. Only forward. down. Next this guy. Let's grab some glory. And last house soldier. Ethereum potion. That puts me at a positive. Right, next batch. Back to the trap door, and let's head out of here. To the market district. Right. As there is but one world. I can't believe Ban Frandero fooled me. His guards almost nabbed you. I feel like a bloody fool, I do. Listen, I have to go. Here's your coin back. I won't take a silver because of the way that went down. Give me some time and come back. We'll get our revenge, we will. Oh, got ten gold. Delicious. All right, with that, let us start the first mission for the Landsmeet. So there's a series of missions we will have to complete before we can do so, which will lock us into Denerim when we do so. Uh, the first will give us access to a fun little... It's almost time to end it then. Give us access to a fun piece of land, so let us get this one started. We'll end it there with our trip into the alienage next time. So that's what it is. Oh, Nigella. Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. All right. I haven't seen many else around here. The Chamberlain disapproves of us. If Lady Isolde hadn't brought me into this household from Redcliffe last year, I'd never have been given a place. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Good day. All right. Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Yes, very nice. Good. Because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena. She's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. Ah, it's this one first. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's that, that, then the alienage. Fair enough. So why would Enora uh, ask for our help? The Queen. She is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? and trusted her father to protect him. When he returned with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. Are you saying the queen believes Logan killed Caelan? My queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Logan, he is very subtle, no? 
but went and how he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. So she goes to how? A visit from the queen to the new Isle of Denrum is only a matter of courtesy, and she demands answers. I guess that didn't go well. He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. And Loghain would allow that? King Kaelin was like a son to him, and Loghain left him to die. Does he love Anora more? Who can say? <laughs> I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon. And we have to get her out of there? Yes, that is what she hoped he would say. Loghain... He has said much about the young Grey Warden who survived. He is worried, no? We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. All right, then we have to help. I have some uniforms. I'll hire so many new girls every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to House Estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. All right, with that. Rescue the queen. Alistair. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. All right. Well, with that, let us bring this to an end. Hey, doggy. Morgan, Sven, and doggy. All right. With that, of course, we shall end it here as we go to save the queen next time. I'll be seeing you around. Bye for now.